All's Fair in Love and Family Law. Viva Fry, Montreal litigator turned YouTuber, and this is Winnie the Westie, and someone sent me a link to this article the other day, and I read this article, and I said there has to be more to the story, because this just doesn't make sense, and the more I read, and the more articles that came out on the subject in the following days, the less that made sense about the story. But whereas I thought the original story might have been fake, that certain details might have been omitted from the story, no, it seems the original story was true, the follow-ups are true, and the outcome is what you would expect when parents are getting divorced, and they fight dirty in court. So for those of you who may not know, I believe it was the day before yesterday, as at the time of shooting this vlog, which is September 1st, 2021, a story emerged from Chicago in which a judge purportedly denied custody to a mother based on the fact that she was not vaccinated after the judge sua sponte asked her if she was vaccinated. When she said no, he sua sponte took custody away from her of her kid. From USA Today, Chicago judge rules mom cannot see her 11-year-old son because she's not vaccinated. A judge in Chicago Inibard Rebecca Furlitt, the mother of an 11-year-old boy, from seeing her son under partial parental custody because she is not vaccinated against COVID-19. Now, the original stories that we're reporting on this basically really only contained the mother's version of events, and I read the original articles, and I said, surely there has to be something else at play. Surely the mother is oversimplifying by specifying certain details and omitting other details. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. But lo and behold, no, she was not exaggerating. She was not omitting details. The judge did in fact issue this type of order in this case. Cook County Judge James Shapiro asked Furlitt during a child support hearing over Zoom whether she was vaccinated. She said no, and the judge stripped her of all parenting rights until she receives the vaccination. Quote, the court clearly exceeded its authority in sua sponte by its own accord, suspending the mother's parenting time when the issue before the court was child support, end quote. Attorney Fernholtz told Fox 32 in Chicago. Quote, the father did not bring this issue before the court, end quote. Now, the father may not have brought this issue up before the court, but sure as sugar, when the father saw the court bringing this issue up, and when the father saw this could be used as a means for him to obtain sole custody, sole parenting of the kid, what do you think the father does? The father jumps on this. The father's attorney, Jeffrey M. Leving, said he supported the judge's decision. Quote, there are children who have died because of COVID, end quote, Leving told the Washington Post. Quote, I think every child should be safe, and I agree that the mother should be vaccinated, end quote. Well, after the judge issued this sua sponte order, there was some public outcry to say the least, and the day after the judge issued this order, the judge reversed his own order, and lo and behold, it also became known that the judge had something of a history of doing this type of thing in court. Judge reverses order that had barred unvaccinated mom from seeing son. Judge James Shapiro had questioned other parents about their vaccination status in previous hearings, the Sun Times has learned. The Cook County judge who barred a mother from seeing her son because she wasn't vaccinated against COVID-19 also has asked other parents in his courtroom about their vaccination status and admitted to ordering some parents and children to be vaccinated, the Sun-Times has learned. In both cases, Judge Jane Shapiro appears to have initiated the discussion of vaccination status. In the more recent case, Shapiro on Monday revoked his order that had kept a divorced Pilsen mother from seeing her 11-year-old son. Shapiro's one-paragraph order in the case of Rebecca Furlitt gives no reason for his change of heart, simply stating that, quote, this court hereby vacates paragraph three of its August 11, 2021 order based on the absence of a pleading or hearing on serious endangerment, end quote, pursuant to Illinois law. So the judge did in fact issue this order for the reasons that were initially reported by the mother. The judge then vacates his own order subsequent to some public backlash. But the story gets even weirder the day after. Actually, before we get into the judge recusing himself from the file and the father seemingly exploiting of this opportunity to seek to deny the mother visiting rights, we have to get into another incident involving this judge, which was surreptitiously recorded by one of the parties to a suit. Hamburg said he video recorded his Zoom court hearing, which is against court rules because of what he said was a bad experience with the court system in the past. He decided to share the video, which he broke up into eight shorter videos on TikTok Sunday after learning about the judge's decision against Furlitt. The decision has garnered international media attention. In one video, viewed more than 67,000 times, Shapiro brings up the subject of COVID-19 vaccines. Quote, have you been vaccinated? End quote, Shapiro asks Hambrick. A discussion begins on whether the question violates HIPAA, a federal law governing the release of an individual's health information by healthcare providers and insurance plans. Then Shapiro tells him that, quote, it would behoove you to get vaccinated, sir. It's not a personal question because it affects other people, okay? And it does not violate HIPAA, end quote. And this is where it gets truly great, unless you happen to be a nurse in the Houston area, because it seems that Judge Shapiro does not think very highly of nurses. Hambrick tells Shapiro that he has consulted with 
family members who are nurses and doctors. Quote, I would be very surprised if you consulted with a doctor who advised you not to get vaccinated, end quote, Shapiro says. Quote, I would not be as surprised if you consulted with a nurse who did not get vaccinated because nurses apparently in Houston and elsewhere are refusing to get vaccinated. That speaks a lot to their intelligence level, and I would not want to be treated by a nurse who refused to get vaccinated. It's not a choice, Mr. Hamburg. It's an obligation, end quote. Wow, does this take judicial activism to the next level. But setting aside what Judge Shapiro happens to think of nurses at large, or at the very least, nurses in the Houston area, let's get back to the judge recusing himself from the file and the father attempting to seize on this opportunity to deny the mother visitation rights. An Illinois judge recused himself Tuesday from a child support case in which he initially barred an unvaccinated woman from seeing her son, then reversed the order Monday after it started to get media attention. Quote, although I believe I can be fair and impartial, the canons of judicial ethics speak to the perception of fairness and impartiality, as well as fairness and impartiality itself, end quote. Cook County Judge James Shapiro said in a statement, according to the Chicago Sun-Times. Quote, public perception may be that I can't be fair and impartial. Therefore, I am going to recuse myself from further proceedings in this case, end quote. Shapiro continued. Something tells me that this judge is not only going to have to worry about the perception of partiality in this particular case, but of his reputation in general, because what we have now learned about this judge can cause a lot of people to question this judge's judgment. And because all seems to be fair in love and family law, the father who now sees a new window of opportunity, a new chance to deny the mother visitation rights of their kid, apparently is filing an emergency order to deny the mother visitation rights because he has been inspired by what this judge initially did. Meanwhile, Furlitt's ex-husband, Matthew Dweven, says he plans to file an emergency motion to keep her from their son due to her unvaccinated status and her volatility in court, according to the Sun-Times. And it would appear that the lawyer for the son also seems to be on board. The attorney representing her son, however, contends that the judge's initial decision to bar Furlitt from seeing him was more complicated than her refusing the vaccine. Quote, the judge needs to look out for the best interest of the child, end quote, said attorney Michael Bender, saying Furlitt's behavior during the hearing was, quote, volatile, end quote. Quote, he was seeing something that clearly said to him, there is an endangerment to the child right now, and we're going to act on it, end quote, Bender said. Furlitt has pushed back on the claim, saying her behavior during the hearing did not play a role in the judge's initial decision. And if we go back to the judge's reasoning for why he vacated that particular paragraph of his initial order, it does seem that the judge himself recognizes that there is no issue of endangerment of the child. Quote, this court hereby vacates paragraph 3 of its August 11, 2021 order based on the absence of a pleading or hearing on serious endangerment, end quote. So that is the story what seemed too preposterous to be true at the beginning, in fact turned out to be true. We have officially entered the era where judges are ordering parents to lose custody of their children if they are not vaccinated, purportedly for the benefit and protection of the children. At the risk of asking the obvious, I'm curious to know what everyone out there watching this video thinks of this, and I don't want to taint the pool by saying what I think, but I think this is absolutely shocking and outrageous. And with that said, if you like my videos, you like my content, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and drop a comment in the comment section below because it feeds the algorithm. Feed me if you want to support the channel, all of these support links are in the pinned comment. Robert Barnes and I do weekly live streams every Sunday. We do weekly streams with a guest every Wednesday called The Sidebar. You can also find us and support us on Locals if you are so inclined at BeavaBarnesLaw.Locals.com All of my content is also on Rumble if you prefer to watch there, but more important than anything, take care of yourselves, check in on friends and family, make sure everyone around you is doing well, and now you know your vlog. Peace out. Booyah!